If the issue is whether the Honorable Vice President Jeju Marbinay, who is the Chairman of Pag-ibig Fund Board of Trustees, used his power to get Omni into Pag-ibig, I categorically say that no, this did not happen. Omni had in fact a chance to get a 193 million peso security service contract for 236 security guards for our NCR offices, warehouses and acquired assets from Pag-ibig Fund for three years when we bidded out this contract in 2012. However, we disqualified Omni for being late in submitting their bid documents late for one minute. This clearly shows that we follow the procurement law strictly and there is no hanky-panky in our bidding process. The only contract we have with Omni is for my closing security, which involves only three bodyguards, which is for, for four months per contract and worth around 420,000 per contract. Because of the smallness of the amount, the contract was entered into by a department manager who had the signing authority. Considering the urgency of the required protection as well as the primacy of trust and confidence in such an engagement, public bidding was considered inappropriate. Where there is imminent danger to life or when time is of the essence and immediate action is necessary. This should negate any suggestion that Vice President Binay is trying to clinch multi-million contracts for Omni or that Vice President Binay uses his position to get contracts for Omni in Pag-ibig Fund. Masasabi ko rin po na sa apat na taon na naglingkod ako sa Pag-ibig, walang puto si Vice President Binay na pinilit masubukan ng aking paninindigan na gumawa ng tama.